yeah, what are you guys doing here? And we were like, yeah, just hanging out, you know, um, or whatever. You know, we didn't really know what we could say at this point. And he was like, yeah, what are you guys supposed to be doing? And we're just sitting there like, uh, yeah, we ain't supposed to be here. And so <laughs> this is the way he introduces himself to us. And we're like, oh, shoot, this is a football coach. This is one of the assistant coaches. And we were like, oh, my God, bro, we we so screwed right now. I was like, hey, guys, how are y'all doing today? Um, hope you guys are doing all right today. I am back with a new video today for Storytime Sunday. Uh, this one's going to be about me getting caught sneaking into the UT Austin's football facility. And that was that was pretty fun, I guess. Um, it wasn't just me. It was with a couple of other friends. But um, luckily, this one, I didn't really get into as much trouble. Or it's not as bad as the last story, at least for sure. That's definitely. But I think this is a story I really like to tell just because it's absolutely I don't know it's interesting it's not really funny but it's interesting at least but anyways I'm gonna get right into it guys so the backstory behind this is this happened during my sophomore year of high school um I was so every year um UT Austin hosts something called Texas Relays and so what it is is a big track meet for high schoolers and college like athletes and stuff and they go to this every year have like this huge track meet it's like put on their tv uh, channel or tv network or whatever um i think some of the clips go on espn if they're like really good or whatever like that but so this is like all what it happened so we got um so i was traveling for a school trip um, on my track team there and so this this whole event is like two days long so usually um you would run the first day and then like the second day we would just kind of hang out but since the event was so long and i'm like i only ran so many events at that time it was like pretty easy to just go and walk around and you'd have a lot of free time like basically to go do stuff so of course being the clowns me and a couple of my friends were the couple of teammates were we we went and goofed around for a little bit just went around campus to go explore some stuff and they they honestly do have a really nice campus over there but i think it is kind of overrated for people to be needing like near perfect sat act scores in order to get to the school but i mean anyways um so we get to walking around we're just going around exploring stuff and this is on the second day i had ran some stuff on the first day and then i had like most of the second day to do whatever until i think that night so i um teammates were walking around and so we we passed by the our or we passed by the football field house basically and there was some guy had like walked out of it and so one of my friends was like oh it's open again today and i was like what do you mean it's open again today like you went earlier and he was like yeah this is a football facility like they have all the players and stuff in there the locker rooms and stuff are in there so we should you know we should go in there we should go in there and he was like i already been in there yesterday or not yesterday but like a couple of hours ago and i was like all right bro so there's like four of us at this point so we we walk in there and um like through the main the hallway or whatever and so <laughs> here's the thing all right so football players are big now track track athletes compared to football athletes even in college like now there's a huge about 30 40 pound weight difference like football players are just huge and they're built to be huge but i'm like we're we're freaking track athletes looking like noodles out there so i don't know why we thought we were just gonna be able to just walk in here and like i mean everybody was acting cool and everything and no one was like being like inconspicuous or anything so we just walked in there and like act like we, we knew what we was doing but i mean obviously we we too small for people not to notice us so i'm like football players are probably like 200 pounds we send at like 160 170 we got one guy that was probably about 200 205 but <laughs> other than that you can other than that you can you can you can tell we don't you know freaking mess with that so yeah so we walk in this place um in the hallway and we start just going around or whatever two of the guys go into the locker room and actually go and see all their stuff in there fortunately i didn't get to go in the locker room because i didn't react fast enough to 
actually do it i was kind of i'm not gonna lie i was being scary i didn't want to go in there i was like bro we get caught i'm like shoot you already in this anyway at this point you should just walk back out the door but so um eventually probably like two three minutes into this whole thing a person walks down this hallway and um he's just coming straight towards us and we're like oh that must be like a player or whatever so you know we're just gonna chill out act cool whatever just roam around a little bit so this man comes up to us and he's like yeah what are you guys doing here and we were like yeah, just hanging out you know um or whatever you know we didn't really know what we could say at this point and he was like yeah what are you guys supposed to be doing and we're just sitting there like uh yeah we ain't supposed to be here and so <laughs> this is the way he introduces himself to us and we're like oh shoot this is a football coach this is one of the assistant coaches and we were like oh my god bro we we so screwed right now i was like bro they're gonna kick us out for sure i, I didn't think anything super bad was gonna happen i was like they're not gonna like call us trespassing or stuff like that but he was like you know you guys know you're not supposed to be in here like why are you guys in here or whatever and so we just told him you know we got curious we just wanted to see like what was in here and we were like bro we we screwed this one up we're gonna have to do it another year or something <laughs> so um we were like dang we're about to get kicked out he's about to just let us go or whatever and we're we're screwed like this it's over it's over like we messed it up and so instead of kicking us out he was like you know what guys we'll uh, we'll go ahead and give you guys like a tour of the facility and stuff like that and dude it was it was pretty awesome at that point so we he took us around we got to go see like the weight room and you know like their little smoothie drink rooms and stuff like that and where they have all their little equipment and stuff set up unfortunately i didn't get to go to, to the locker room which kind of sucked but i mean it kind of makes sense you don't want people like in a private area like that so but I mean, regardless, it was pretty fun. I saw some pretty cool stuff, even in their weight room. Their weight room is insane. It is huge. And it's like all custom design with all their own logos and stuff everywhere. And then like, they have like little weights, um, but they like track like how far you go down and like how far or how fast you come back up. And it's like really crazy. It's really crazy stuff. And it's like, if you mess up on a rep or something, or you don't go all the way down, then like the machine goes off and it starts making beeps and stuff. And then everybody in the whole room knows you freaking messed it up. You better do that rep again. Cause they all watching you at that point. But I was like, when I heard that, I was like, bro, I don't think I would ever want to be a football player here, man. If you mess up on a rep and you hear that beep everywhere, bro, I would be like, uh, yo, I ain't trying to be on this team no more. Like, I'm getting flat out embarrassed over here. But anyways, guys, that's that's pretty much the end of the story. Um, he escorted us out at the end. Well, yeah, escorted us out at the end. So I guess in that way, he was kind of like, yeah, you, yeah, you guys are down here. Like you should be in here. You know, don't don't come back in here. Basically, and we were like, at the point we wanted to go back in because I wanted to see the locker room, but it was like. I mean, if he catches us again in there, this is going to be real awkward. Be like, why are you in here after I just gave you a tour of everything? So I'll put some pictures in here as well, because I do have a couple of pictures. But overall, it was it was pretty fun, man. It was pretty fun. But anyways, guys, uh, until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.